Okay, so as of right now, we should have learned about what the different types of energy are and also have learned about conservation of energy. And so knowing about those two things, we know that one, there are multiple types of energy, elastic potential, gravitational potential, kinetic, okay, energy dissipated, and then also chemical potential energy. Now, through viewing a conservation of energy and talking about conservation of energy, we know that energy is neither created nor destroyed. It just gets converted from one to the next. So the next video I want you guys to have is this video that's about the conservation of energy and how they're converted uh, from one type to the next. Because like we said, they don't ever actually go away. It, it, it gets converted to different types of energy. So what I want to do is I want to show you guys a couple of videos and then we'll use those to demonstrate how we will fill out a pie chart. Okay, so here's one of the more favorite videos. This video is of Danny Wei. Um, he's a famous skateboarder who jumped the Great Wall of China. And so as he jumps over the Great Wall, okay, he has all kinds of different energies being converted from one to the next. We go back to the top. We know right now his velocity is zero, so his kinetic energy is zero. Okay, but he's very high off the ground, so we know that he has potential energy there gravitational potential okay and as he moves down the ramp he's gaining kinetic and he's losing gravitational at the very bottom of the ramp he's moving the fastest he's gonna go because he has all kinetic energy here there's no more gravitational potential as he goes up again now he's higher up off the ground he's also moving slower than he was when he was way down here okay um, so he has gravitational and he has kinetic okay and then as he lands again his energy's changed at some point in this flight he stops so again it's all gravitational but notice he's not as high here as he was on the other end so there was some energy dissipated and then the way that he drops down to his knees and slows himself to a stop right here is where he loses all of his gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy it's all dissipated so we use uh one of the ways we use um tools to figure out what exactly the energies that were happening or the changes that were happening. Well, the first one that we use is a pie chart, okay? Um, and these pies, you have a whole page of them, but like, we'll let this top section represent Danny Wei jumping the Great Wall of China, okay? So we'll call this beginning pie the start, okay? This one is the middle, and this one is at the end. Okay, now obviously there are multiple times where we could do this in between the start, the middle, and the end, but I'm just picking three points to kind of help us understand what exactly it is that we're trying to take a look at. So, um, like you guys probably have learned in the past, pies represent 100% of the energy, okay? And we're just using the pies as an approximation to get us to understand what type of energy is present and what type of energy is being used up, what type of energy is converting, where is it going to, um, et cetera. So back to Danny Way in our video, we'll use this point right here as our very beginning, okay? And so a couple questions that I, I, I kind of go through. When I do these types of problems, I, I just go through a checklist of all of the different energies that could possibly be present, and I ask questions to see if they are or aren't. So we'll go back to our pie chart. We'll go back to our pie chart here okay and we'll talk about the start and so what I typically will do is I'll look at our energy so EG, EK, EEL and E dis are usually the four that I go through and so at the start um, EG gravitational potential is there any there well he is off of the ground and he's a significant distance off of the ground so yes he is or he does have gravitational potential EK, kinetic, uh, at the beginning he's not moving, so no, okay. EEL, uh, I didn't see a spring and there's nothing stretching, storing energy there, so there's none of this, and since it's at the beginning, we can't have E-dis. So, for the start, we know that all of his energy is gravitational potential. Now we're gonna go to the middle. Again, right here, he's all gravitational potential energy. Now he's all kinetic. 
right here in the middle, okay, we know he's a distance off of the ground and he's moving at some speed. So we'll go back to our pie chart and we'll go through our checklist. We'll figure out what type of energy is present and we'll approximate what's going on here. Again, I go through my same checklist, EG, EK, EEL, and EDIS. Okay, and going through, again, Danny Way was in the middle. He was jumping in the air, so I know there's EG there. Okay, we also know that in order for him to get to that point, he had to move, and he's moving pretty quick. There's kinetic energy as well, okay? Um, EEL, well, elastic potential energy. I look, and, and again, there's no spring. There's nothing stretching, storing energy, so that's not present. And for our purposes, we're going to disregard friction for right now. We're going to say EDIS is not present. So I know there's EG and EK. Um, again, these are approximations, okay? So do I look to see if they're exactly like the key? No, not really. But the proportions should be, you know, thought about and they should be, you should have reasoning behind what you did. So the two that we have are EG and EK. And I put half and half just because he's about halfway up from where he started and he also is moving pretty significantly fast. So we'll, uh, we'll use that as our middle. Okay, now we'll go back to the video and we'll take a look and we'll decide what's happening at the end. So here's Danny in the middle again. Uh, we hit play, he continues on, he lands. He's slowing down now, okay, and we're gonna call this point right here the end, okay? So he's at the bottom of the ramp. Um, he doesn't have nearly as much energy as he did, say, here, okay, because he's lost some. So we know that he stops himself, and skateboarders will do this, especially when they're going very, very fast on a vert ramp like this. He jumps off and uses his pads to slide to a stop. So we're going to call this position right here actual stop. Now we go back to our pie chart, okay, and based off of what we know, I'm going to go down through the checklist again just because it's good practice, EG, EK, EEL, and EDIS, okay, and so EG won't know because he's at ground level, he isn't a height off of the ground, okay, we said at the end, uh, we called this sliding to a stop, so there is no kinetic if he stopped. EEL again, no spring, nothing storing energy, so actually all of the energy in this case was dissipated. Okay, now again, EDIS is basically energy loss to friction, sound, um, any inefficiency in a system uh, is EDIS. So for this case, Danny dissipated all of the energy when he hit the vert ramp and slid to a stop. This is basically how we do a typical pie chart for um, just understanding what type of energies are present. Now I'm going to take you through a second example and I'm going to let you guys work on your own. I'm going to have you pause a couple times, work through the second example, and then I'll get a key to you at the end. So the next one is a pretty cool video. It's a slingshot of a couple kids um, called the Human Slingshot. We'll show you right now. So here's the human slingshot. Um, what it is is it looks like basically two telephone poles that these kids will tie or they have elastic bands tied to and then they'll pull the person back and they'll shoot them forward. So for our purposes, we're gonna go through and we're gonna practice um, energy pie charts, okay? Um, let's use this right here, well, something like that. We'll find one where he's at the very beginning of a slingshot. This is a good one. Right now, okay, we'll say that this is the start. So this is your first pie. I want you to go through, figure out what types of energy are present, okay? You decide um, which ones you put down there. I'm gonna tell you that let's consider him at rest at this point. Go ahead. Uh, hit pause on the video, I want you to work through this for just a second, and then we'll move forward from there.
So here I am, I, I go to the start. This is when the guy is being pulled back. Um, elastic potential, yes, definitely. There's a huge spring being stretched storing energy. Um, EG, e, I guess I can say so, because when we paused the screen, he was slightly off of the ground, so there's a small amount of EG here. Uh, EK, we said he's not moving, and since it's the beginning, I'm gonna say that there's no e this. okay? Now, I'm gonna make just a small sliver of E, G, and the rest is gonna be E, E, L. Remember, these are approximations, okay? Yours might look slightly different. You could have chosen to do a quarter EG. Um, you just need to be able to understand and explain why you chose what you did, okay? Um, we'll go back and we'll, I'll pick a middle point for you guys and we'll do the same that we just did. All right, so here's our start. Let's call this right here the middle. Now, just pretend that he's right between the two poles, okay? We know he's a distance off the ground. We know he's moving slightly. There's also some stretch. So let's go to our pie chart. You guys hit pause in the video. I want you to work through it. The solution's coming. Okay, again, I always go through these as I'm showing you now. I think it's good practice just to see what's there and to understand what's going on. So um, in this case, I'm gonna say yes to EEL because there is still some stretch in that spring or stretch in that cord. Uh, EG, absolutely, he's off the ground, okay? So if all of the things were let go, he would come to the ground gaining kinetic energy. And then lastly, yeah, there's definitely kinetic energy there, okay? Um, e dis, well, for right now, we'll say no, okay? Um, you know, again, these are approximations, so you know, your proportions, they're not super important. I want you to just be able to understand and recognize what types of energies are present. So EEL for sure, EG and EK. And I put all three at equal proportions just because I thought that that would be an appropriate way to show all three are present. Okay, there might be a little more of one than the other, but for right now, since we don't have numbers and measurements, we can't say there are numbers here. Okay, so there's a proportion. I'm gonna show you our last section. And so here's our video again. Uh, I may use a different one just to show you guys our end. Looks like fun. Um, but we'll use let's use this point right here. So this is someone that's already gone through. They're hanging upside down, it's still slightly stretched. But let's use this as our end point. So go ahead and hit pause. Think about what the types of energies are here, and then work through your pie chart. Again, hit pause, don't cheat. All right, here's the end solution to that one. So again, the end, EEL, EG, EK, and EDIS. Okay, um, EEL, I'm gonna say yes, you know, because there's still some stretch. Um, EG, Still off of the ground, hanging upside down. If, if those cords were to snap, he'd accelerate to the ground. Um, EK, let's say he's at rest for this one. And then e dis, there has to be because he slowed to a stop. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just do this. You know, again, I, my proportions aren't exact, but I'm going to say most of the energy was lost. Okay. I am going to say that there still is some EG, and I'm still going to say that there's some EEL. Now, again, Think about the proportions. There isn't a right or a wrong here, but it is the purpose of these is to kind of look at what types of energies are present and, and really show that, um, again, approximately. These aren't exact. So there are your solutions. Uh, again, this is your intro to energy pie charts. Hopefully that helps. Um, at this point, you're ready to work through the rest of this worksheet. Okay. Um, go ahead and only do these qualitatively right now, don't do quantitative calculations. Those are to come once we learn them. Over and out.